Hormone imbalances are common. Unfortunately, it's one of those things where too much or too little exercise, uh, too many toxins in your system, chronic stress, a poor diet, uh, long time, long term birth control use, uh, those sorts of things, they can all limit your hormone production. Um, the hard part is when the hormone production is limited, some of the organs are then suppressed because they don't have the hormones necessary for them to function properly and you know, supply their needs so they can really do their job. Um, unfortunately, that just leads to degradation of all sorts of things. You know, hormone imbalances can screw with your energy and your mood and all sorts of different things. Um, again, your hormones are also highly related to your gut and what's going on in there, so that's a big one. Uh, stress is a major factor with hormones, so if your stress is going a little bit crazy, you might find that you'll have cortisol fluctuations where it's high and low and all over the place, and that there can straight up lead to poor sleep and all sorts of other hormone imbalances and stuff. So what can you do about it? So first thing is balanced exercise program, which means if you're not doing anything, do some. If you're burnt out and you don't really have too much energy, uh, Tai Chi, Qigong, yoga, or walking, even if it's just a little bit of it, even if it's only you know, a couple of minutes a day, or even a couple of minutes several times a day, wherever you can fit it in is probably gonna be a great idea. If you've been training really, really hard because you have had some energy, and you've hit yourself, well, burnouts from there, you've burnt yourself out a little bit, then dialing that back to a more moderate intensity is gonna help in a big way as well. A lot of the time with exercise, larger rest periods are far better for people who have hormone issues. Uh, quality diet is always important, so if you are eating too much processed foods or far too much of one thing, too much protein or too much fat or too much carbohydrate uh, and things are out of balance, that may be an issue as well. So uh, you want to try and lower your stress by whatever means necessary. That may mean uh, cutting down on commitments, uh, doing less just in general, uh, maybe not having such high goals and pushing yourself as some of us are really high achievers and that's something that we're like very much goal driven and we have to do a certain thing. Maybe you need to push that aside just until this all settles down. And then a detox protocol is also another great one. So taking the time to detoxify the liver and get a lot of those toxins out of the body uh, are gonna make a huge difference to how well your hormones then start to work again and coming back online. Um, and obviously making you feel good because really that's what it's all about. So be very careful with just those basic things. And it really is basics with hormones. Sure, you can take a bioidentical testosterone or estrogen or other herbs uh, to modify or encourage the body to produce more, but still, that's, that, that may be a band-aid thing. You still need to address those underlying things. Like I said, balanced exercise, quality diet, lower stress, and getting a detox protocol done. If you are already working up through those things, that's great in time, that will all start to set out. If you find that everything is just not working or it's not working soon enough or you can't deal with the mood swings or the depression or the anxiety, go and see somebody. Go and see someone as soon as you can and uh, whether it's a GP or it could be a Chinese doctor, uh, could be a naturopath, could, could really be whoever you want it to be, it doesn't really matter. but just go and see someone and talk to someone right away so they can get you started on making you feel better because if you feel better then you'll be able to stick to all of those necessary things far more than when you're in this mood of I just can't do it so good luck to you